this is the only place I could find quiet today. So it seems as if every single subject I'm gonna be talking about is gonna be in a different room. So my daughter's room is math. This one is really exciting, you guys. The curriculum that I use is teaching textbooks. I know I rave about the good and the beautiful all the time, but let me just spend today raving about teaching textbooks. I am here today to share how we use it and how it's a completely positive experience, both academically and both in our homeschool and for all my children's attitudes. They are so happy. First reason why I chose teaching textbook, I do not do common core math. That was a huge, like number one on my list. I had a complete horrific experience with common core in public school. I don't agree with Common Core personally, but a lot of parents are concerned if it's not Common Core math, how are they going to do on their state tests? Are they going to be prepared? Let me tell you, my kids scored in the 95th percentile nationally in math. They just took their state tests. They hit it out of the ballpark. Don't be concerned that they won't test well on, on state tests if they don't do Common Core math. We do not do any Common Core math here. We are free and happy. My children love the basic concepts. That's how their brains think. It has just lifted off a cloud. There's a lot of YouTube videos about teaching textbooks, so for details, look those up. But essentially, it is a lecture. Like, it teaches the kids on the computer. So number one, I don't have to teach them the lesson, and for me, I really believe that as homeschool moms, in order to, to avoid a burnout, you need at least one subject, at least I do, where I don't have, it doesn't fully rely on my shoulders, where I can kind of like let that go and, and breathe that out. So that's what teaching text, textbooks does for me. It, it gives me a break. It, it takes, it literally is like, it's like a teacher in my home. It's like a math professor coming into my home, teaching the child and making it fun and they really enjoy it and it's challenging. So let's just dive in and explain it. Okay, so for my daughter for teaching textbooks, she is 12 years old and she is in seventh grade. Um, she is in pre-algebra. She's actually finishing up pre-algebra. She will be done with this curriculum come November. Um, we ended up switching to teaching textbooks in the middle of a school year, and so it's always just ended up in November. That's when they switched to the next level. Moving into algebra, so she'll be in algebra in seventh grade. Um, my twin boys, they are both in fifth grade. Um, they are in math six. So they use the math six and same thing with my daughter. We switched them over in, in the middle of the school year. So they're going to be finishing their math six um, come November, about the same time. And then they're going to be moving into math seven. So I do buy the hard copy. I like to buy the textbook. My kids often work out of the textbook. I'm often digging into the textbook. I just find it really good to have a hard copy in my home. Um, for instance, there might be times when our computer isn't working or when the internet isn't connected. Um, it's good to have this. A lot of the times, sometimes my kids don't want to do it on the computer and they choose to do it in the book. I think for me in my school, it's really important that we use the book <laughs> just to get them back to the basics to know how to do paper and um, you know, hard copy. So that's the deal with the book. I originally purchased their CDs. So they come like this. Okay. This is their CDs. Downloads onto your computer. So the CDs I personally like because you're not relying on the internet um, and you can do it on the computer. It's, it's downloaded on your computer. Um, and so for that reason, I like the CD. You're going to have the whole lesson on the computer. They watch the lesson. 
Um, and they always like the lesson and it, it explains it in a way that they always understand it. At least my children, there's been very few cases where they're like, mom, I don't get it. And then I come in with the book and then I'm able to sit down and just, and explain it to them. But very few, that's a very rare moment when my kids don't get it from the lecture. So the lecture is fabulous. Then from the lecture, they then do the assignment online. So the questions are online and they input their answer. And this is where I might be different than other, other families. I don't know. I require my kids to have a math notebook. So I got these at like Target or Office Depot kind of graph paper notebook um, because it helps them stack their numbers better and it just helps them keep it more organized. Here's one of my daughter's lessons. So I require them to write down all of the problems, to work it out on the paper, to, um, to show me their work. They do all their work in the notebook. I want to see the steps. I want to see that they know it. I want them to write it down. There's something about writing it down on paper. Um, and then I want them to write the answer in their notebook. And so essentially they're doing the whole lesson, all the questions, all everything in here. So they're doing it all in here. And then they go into the computer and then they input their answer. That's what I require and it's worked really well. So they know how to work it out on paper. They can see it. They're doing it every day. They're working through it like this with their pencil. And I really believe in math. There's something to that, something to writing it down, working it, working it through. So about the online program. So with my twin boys, we did switch over to the online math program. So that is, I think, you pay per month or you can pay for the calendar year. I can't remember what it is. But we're doing the online math for my twin boys and it's pretty much the same thing. It's almost the, exactly the same thing as the CDs. Um, the only thing is it's online and that is good because you can access it like wherever. You don't have to have that specific computer that like you downloaded the CD onto. You could go to grandma's house and log onto the website and do math. Um, I get to see a report of their assignment um, every day. I go in and check. I check their grades. So I'm the weight of teaching them is off my shoulders. I am. I'm still keeping up with it every day. It's just. It's a program that kind of just takes care of itself, and that's what I love. Um, I also use Homeschool Planet for my planner. And on Homeschool Planet, they have a teaching textbooks lesson plans. Seriously, for like six bucks, you buy teaching textbooks, um, you know, pre-algebra or teaching textbooks, math six, and it pumps it into the planner and it's right there. It inputs it for the whole year. You're good to go. They understand it and it boosts their self-esteem. It makes them happy. Well, I'm going to go grab my little one, Drew's curriculum, because I, I really wanted to go in depth with Drew's new curriculum I'm using. Um, that in-depth review is going to be for another video, but I wanted to show you what I'm using for him um, because it is so fabulous. Okay, you guys, I'm back with Drew, Drew's math curriculum. I have like two minutes and I have to take the kids to swim team. So <laughs> this is going to be really quick. Um, I used for Drew's kindergarten year, we used Matthew C and Abeka. Okay, Abeka, pfft, it just didn't click with us. Matthew C, it was flat. But we switched over to the Good and the Beautiful Math K. I have a detailed video on kind of a flip through of this curriculum um and yes he's in first grade his kindergarten math year was just like <laughs> it was really unsuccessful and there were huge holes in his learning and I mean I just saw it across the board I was like we've got to really build a strong foundation just we're tearing through it because he does know a lot of he already knew how to count to 100 you know he knows 10 counting by tens and he's totally master counting by fives. So there's a lot of things that he does know, but
but um, I started him at the beginning um, just to fill in all of his holes and it has completely added just joy, fun. It's a fabulous, fabulous math program. I absolutely love it. It's going really, really well. Okay, my alarm. <laughs> this means I gotta drive the kids to swim team. So I need to wrap this up right now. I'm praying that the Good and the Beautiful releases their math one in January. It's instilled love for math. He's excited. I'm excited. It's really like boosted my confidence as a teacher, being able to teach a little one math. I'm going to do another really thorough review of Math K um, coming up here in a couple months. I Before I do reviews, I love to just use it and really see and really be able to give a good a good review on it. I'm planning to move Drew into Math 1. Um, I don't know where the Lord will lead me. Maybe I'll stick with the good and the beautiful from then on. Or maybe it'll be best for us to move him into teaching textbooks when he reaches that level. I don't know. I just follow the Lord. And that is something that I've really grown into. I've grown into just this, this trust and faith in the Lord and wherever he wants us. So for now... <laughs> My older three are doing teaching textbooks, and my younger one, my first grader, he's six, he is sticking with the good and the beautiful. Okay, math, it has actually become a light, a love, a passion, a, a fun thing in our home. It's not something that we hate. The one thing I can re recommend for any of you guys that have kiddos in public school that are struggling with Common Core math, I honestly, you don't have to do Common Core math. Like, <laughs> take them out of school. It will change their self-esteem. It will change their life. It will change your life. It will add a light and a, just an ease and bring back their spirit of learning and happiness. So anyway, so that's math. I told you it was going to be pretty quick, easy, straightforward. Next one up is probably going to be history and science and how I do unit studies. So I'm really liking this this setup I have with this computer and the webcam, it's making it so easy to do YouTube videos and I'm able to just, my workflow is a lot better. So, so I can be on here a little bit more. That's how we teach math and I hope that helped you guys. I'll see you guys later.